We as a whole realize that Einstein was a virtuoso. To such an extent that, his mind would work in excess of 1000 researchers. Things which we won't ever consider not to mention comprehend, Einstein chipped away at those things and also, made it simple for the entire world. Albert Einstein was a physicist who distributed the hypothesis of unique relativity, E equals mix squared. Also, figuring out the photoelectric regulations also, left the world astonished. Also, thusly he was granted the Nobel Prize. Seeing his uncommon thinking and figuring out power, individuals trust that Einstein had a phenomenal cerebrum, which was very unique from standard human. Einstein also knew this and accordingly, he didn't maintain that his body should be investigated upon after his downfall. Maybe he had trained his body to be incinerated. Yet, the equivalent occurred what Einstein feared. On the 13th of April 1955, when Einstein kicked the bucket in Princeton Clinic, the specialist came to play out the post-mortem examination, took Einstein's mind subtly. Since he was interested to be aware, what's there inside the mind of this virtuoso? Once more greeting to the R video. The specialist who took Einstein's cerebrum was Dr. Thomas Harvey, who was more intrigued in concentrating on this mind, than confronting the results. At the point when the Princeton Clinic came to have some familiarity with this episode, they terminated him. However, Dr. Harvey was fruitful in chasing after Hans Albert to give him consent, to investigate upon his dad's mind also, let the world in on about it. From that day, a long venture began for that cerebrum. Dr. Harvey was a pathologist, who knew exclusively about posthumous. Furthermore, that is the reason he accepted that he would be ready to explore this virtuoso cerebrum. Yet, the circumstance was that Dr. Harvey lost his employment in Princeton Emergency Clinic, and furthermore the assignment of a pathologist. Dr. Harvey took Einstein's cerebrum to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where he took a great deal of photographs of the cerebrum what's more, cut them into 240 little pieces. Also, protecting each piece in discrete containers, he conceal every one of them in his cellar. Along these lines, he had contentions with his significant other, as his significant other used to compromise him that she will toss this mind outside. The contentions in the end lead to separate. Furthermore, Dr. Harvey went Wichita, Kansas with the cerebrum, where he began working as a clinical boss. Furthermore, here in his extra energy he attempted to concentrate on Einstein's cerebrum. From that point onward, he regularly exchanged positions also, moved to various urban areas with the cerebrum. Indeed, even after numerous years Dr. Harvey proved unable to do any strong examination on Einstein's mind. Rather his clinical permit was dropped. What's more, the circumstance was so awful for him that he needed to begin working in a plastics production line. At the time he went with a decent choice, to send various bits of the cerebrum, to the best nervous system specialist of the world for nitty-gritty exploration. Also, that's what he did. 30 years after the mind was taken, first time in 1985 a review was distributed on Einstein's mind. For the following 28 years, numerous nervous system specialists have distributed a few examinations on this virtuoso's mind. In which, it was observed that Einstein's mind was very not the same as the standard human mind. The greatest contrast was found in the corpus closum part, presently realizing that a significant human cerebrum is partitioned into two sections. Anything work a human does, it is handled in one section and afterward mind conveys message to that piece of the body. Left mind controls the right piece of the body while right mind controls the left piece of the body. Furthermore, for 90% people left mind is answerable for discourse, understanding, numerical computations and composing. While the right mind is answerable for inventiveness, comprehension of shapes, workmanship and music. Presently you should think then, at that point, what is crafted by corpus closum. Envision you are composing on the console or cell phone and keeping in mind that doing this both our hands are caught up with composing. Left hand is composing a few letter sets, furthermore, the right hand is additionally doing likewise. 
During composing your left hand committed an error, what's more, you immediately utilized your right hand to delete that slip up. That implies that when your right mind committed a slip up, it amended the slip up by flagging the left mind. The connection through which the two parts of the cerebrum are associated is called corpus callosum. What's more, Einstein's corpus callosum was bigger than customary people. That implies his left mind and the right cerebrum had areas of strength for A. In light of which Einstein could envision complex issues and circumstances. Aside from the distinction in corpus callosum, Einstein's cerebrum's example was likewise very not quite the same as others. Furthermore, that's what specialists trust, it was the justification behind great neuron stream. Great progression of neurons implies that he had incredible power for numerical estimations. Albert Einstein had the force of tackling complex numerical issues, in his mind without utilizing pen and paper. As indicated by an exploration paper another explanation for having countless neurons was that, at the point when Einstein's mind was weighted it was 1230 gm. Though it is 1400 gm for typical individuals. That's what analysts trust his mind's covering was very slender on account of which it contains more neurons. Be that as it may, the greatest inquiry was, on the off chance that Einstein was brought into the world with such an exceptional cerebrum or on the other hand there were changes subsequently. In the wake of exploring it was seen that as, when Einstein was conceived, he began talking after the age of five. While different youngsters start talking at two years old or three. Indeed, even after he began talking, he could have done without to talk a lot what's more, stayed lost in his own contemplations. He had less retaining power. Furthermore, not just that, he find it challenging to remember basic duplication table. He was ace in handling maths and number in consistent ways rather remembering them. In his school life, despite the fact that he bombed in different subjects, in any case, he succeeded in arithmetic and science. At the point when Albert Einstein was 12 years of age, a family educator left his calculation book in Einstein's home. Shockingly, Einstein read that book in at some point and cleared his mathematical ideas. Not just that he became expert of essential furthermore, differential math at 14 years old. His hold on maths and science was areas of strength for so that teachers used to become anxious, at the point when he used to lift his hands for posing inquiry, since frequently Einstein's inquiries were hard for even instructors to comprehend. From an extremely youthful age, he needed to embody the laws of the universe in a little condition. Furthermore, this turned into his life's main goal. At 26 years old, Einstein distributed four research papers and made the world astonished. Also, Accordingly he was given PhD degree and granted Nobel Prize for assuming extraordinary part for mankind. Without Einstein's theories science is fragmented. Many, specialists and researchers reached the resolution that, Einstein's mind became exceptional after his introduction to the world. The main motivation behind it was when he was unable to track down a solution to his inquiries, he attempted to track down replies with the assistance of his mind. Doing as such, since early on, uniquely fostered his mind. Today Einstein's mind is kept in America's the Murmur Historical Center, which are protected with extraordinary consideration in minute slides. Trust you will like also, share this video. My ardent appreciation for your caring remarks. We'll meet you in another astonishing video.